Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I am just playing around with some makeup. Um, it's still some old and some new products that I am using today. Um, I am going to be using the Morphe 35Y Aura Escape Palette. So I'm just gonna be playing with this palette today. I do have blue on, of course, so I'm going to try and create a blue look. Uh, so if this is your type of content, please feel free to sit back, relax, and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I am going to do, I am going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Foundation Concealer, not foundation, concealer. Um, this is in the shade 400 Caramel. So I'm just gonna use that to prime my lids. I hope everybody is doing well. And then I'm just taking my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm just gonna blend out the primer. All right, so now that the uh, lids are primed, I am going to go ahead in with the palette. All right, and I think for transition color, I am going to go in with this color up here. And that color is called So Purpose. So I'm just gonna set my lids with that color. And before I forget, let me go ahead and set my face. I cannot believe I did not set my face. This is usually the first step whenever I'm applying my makeup. So I'm still using my Black Radiance uh, Matte Setting Spray. And I am going to go in with my No Pore Blum Primer and I'm just gonna set my face with that real quick. All right, so now that the primer is set on the face, I'm gonna go in with a couple palettes. I'm just gonna take probably a couple of these blues here and then just blend them in and top it off with a shimmer. So the first color that I am going in with is Extra Sensory, and that is the baby blue shade right here. So I'm just gonna apply this all over the lid here. And I'm even gonna bring it up just a little bit above my eyelid as well. Okay, it seems kind of dry, but we're gonna build it up as best as we can. And then with the same brush, I'm gonna go in with the shade Lucid, or is it Lucid? Lucid, Lucid, whatever. But I'm gonna take this blue shade right here and I'm just gonna use that and go over that baby blue color. I think this is a real pretty color. It's really starting to come together. I mean, it's bright, but we're gonna tone it down just a little bit here and just a little bit. But I really like the color. So I'm just gonna blend out these edges here with a clean brush. I'm just gonna blend out the edges on my eyelid here. So now that the edges are blended out, I'm going to go in and I'm going to darken up the edge of my eye here, probably with a darker shade. It looks so, you know. Um, so I'm gonna take the color Deepest Self. So this is like a purple color. I'm gonna take 
this color right here and I'm just going to blend it in at the edge of my eye here. I'm just gonna take me a Moda Pro brush, a little flat brush here and just blend that color on the edge of my eye. All right, I'm just gonna do the next eye as well. I'm just doing packing motions for the most part because I find that if I try to blend it out, then it just makes it more splotchy. All right, so I think I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner. So I'm gonna put some eyeliner on the top of my eyelids and then I'm going to top it off with a shimmer on top. So I'm going in with my LA Girl eyeliner, the gel one. And I'm just gonna line my eyelids here. The eyeliner is on. So now I'm gonna use some lashes. I think I'm gonna use my Kiss number 11 lashes today. And then after I apply the lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my shimmer. All right, so lashes are on. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with some shimmer on top by my eyelid over that blue. So I'm just gonna use the one that's called Cosmic Destiny. So this is the color right here. I'm gonna go over top on my eyelid with that color. I'm just gonna use my finger first and see. I think this is really pigmented though. Maybe I need to use a brush. Okay, it's very pigmented and to not mess up my eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with a brush. Then I'm gonna use a little pencil brush and do this. Okay, I'm going to spray my brush. That's weird, I'm getting more payoff with my finger than I am with the brush. So that's all right though. and I'm bringing it up just a little bit. All right, so there's that. And I'm just gonna take my brush here and I'm just going to go over again, just real lightly. I don't wanna lose anything out here because it's basically a blue look. But... All right, so there's that. Um, have you guys used Morphe's palettes? Like, what is your guys' thoughts on their palettes? I really like their palettes. Um, they have, you know, very beautiful colors in here. You have plenty to choose from. So I really like their palette. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply concealer. I have been using my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in 400. Um, I find that it's giving me more coverage. I decided to go ahead and change from the Cover FX Concealer being that that's what I've been using for the past 10 videos. So I'm gonna use this. This is the oldie but goodie, I love L'Oreal. And then what I've been doing after I apply the concealer, I take my CoverGirl concealer, which is the shade Golden Caramel. Um, I'm gonna just go over this just a tad because sometimes this concealer turns out too light and I really don't like that bright look under my eyes. So I'm just gonna use this here just a little bit like that and just a swatch, yep. Just, just a tiny bit. And we're gonna let this sit in here for like three minutes and then we'll be back and we'll blend it out and apply the foundation. All right, so it's been a few minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and blend out our concealer. Blending those two colors created like the perfect shade for me. 
All right, and then for foundation, today I'm going to be using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop uh, foundation. I am in the shade Cinnamon. So I'm just going to put a couple pumps on the back of my hand. And what I do, if I see that my concealer is a little bit lighter than my foundation, and my foundation is a little bit darker, of course, I do go ahead and go over the under eyes with the foundation brush, just so it doesn't look so harsh and so bright. Just a little bit. But do what works for you. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes. And I'm still using my two favorite powders, the CoverGirl and the Wet n Wild. They are what works for me best in the summer, so I do gravitate to those more, so. And then I'm gonna take my powder puff and set my face. Again, always tap off the excess of your powder on the back of your hand and then go in and apply your setting powder. And I apply extra, just being that it's summertime, I apply extra, again, I have combination to oily skin. So I kind of like the powder look, even though I know my oils are gonna seep through, but that's the look that I like for it to last as long as it possibly can. I really love this foundation, that NYX foundation. I forgot about that. I haven't used it for a while. I really like it. I really like that NYX. NYX is a good brand overall. Morphe too. All right, so we're gonna go ahead in and I'm gonna go ahead and set my face again. And then for bronzer, I am using the Physicians Formula Endless Summer Bronzer. So I'm gonna use this. Have you guys ever smelt Physicians Formula bronzers? It smells so good. It smells like summer. All right, so I'm going to take my bronzing brush and bronze my face. And then for blush, I am going to use the LA Colors Mink Blush. So I'm gonna use this today. I like this pink, it's just a soft pink. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the Catrice 3D Glow Highlighter. This one is in the shade Pinch of Rose. So that's that there. Dip into it and just apply it to my cheeks. Oh, that's really pretty. It's really pigmented. You see that? I like that. That's pretty. That's super pretty. I really like that. All right. And of course, I'm going to take this and go over my eyelids here above my brow bone with the color. So now I'm going to just line my lower lash line. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the extra sensory color here and I'm gonna line my lower lash line with that. 
So I'm just taking, taking me a pencil brush and just gonna line my lower lash line. Okay, so that shade isn't really showing. I'm going to take the other color, that blue color, that Lucid color here. I'm gonna try that one. All right, and then I'm just going to take my I Defy by Half Caked. Yes, I Defy by Half Caked, and I'm just gonna do my lower lash line. All right, so lower lash line is finished. Now I'm just going to take me another pencil brush and I'm going to pop that with like some purple in the inner corner of my eyelid. All right, so I'm just gonna take my little pencil brush here and I'm gonna use this. This is called High Vibration. I'm gonna use this color here and I'm just gonna put that in my inner corner here. Sometimes you do have to go over them like three or four times just to get the you know, look that you're wanting. I think I'm gonna actually spray my brush and see if I can amp it up just a hair. All right, so we are going to go ahead and do our lips and we are almost finished with this look. I'm gonna do lips and eyebrows and then we are finished, guys. So I am taking my e.l.f. lip liner, the gel cream lip liner, and this one is in Spill the Tea. So I'm gonna use this today. And then for lip gloss, I am going to use my Wet n Wild lip gloss. This one is in Past Curfew. So I'm just gonna go over top with that. And then I'm using my Wonder Beauty Upgraded Brows Duo. Again, this is in Dark Brown. I really love this. I really, really love this. I recommend it. If you guys don't have it, it's a really good pencil. All right, guys. So this completes the look. I really like how it turned out. I just went ahead and put my hair down and put in my earrings. But yes, I love how this look turned out. Um, if you have used the Morphe 35 Y palette, let me know what your thoughts are. I do appreciate you for stopping by and watching the video. I will have more content loading. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, stay blessed.